For the past two years, the Paul Bunyan Park in Bemidji has been under construction. Today, the city reached a milestone as it opened one of the park's highlighted features. Our Josh Peterson was there as kids tried out the inclusive playground. Under the watchful eye of the 79-year-old Paul Bunyan statue and through the trees lies one of Bemidji's newest gems. The Paul Bunyan inclusive playground had its first full day of use, topping off years of planning, construction and renovations at Bemidji's premier park. And as you can see, the inclusive playground is just a major hit. It's been packed since the fence went down, so. With some minor work still needing to be done, only finishing touches remain to be completed at the park. Well, there will be a couple days, um, probably next week, that uh, the parking lot will be unavailable and we'll be really monitoring the trails closely. Um, and then we'll do a little bit more landscaping around the inclusive playground. What sets this project apart from others is that this playground was a grassroots effort championed by the Bemidji Rotary Club, fundraising the $420,000 needed to build this inclusive playground. You know, this is the biggest project Bemidji Rotary has ever undertaken or been involved with. And so we um, reached out to uh, other partners in the community, other service organizations. One of the unique features about the inclusive playground is the surface that it sits on completely rubberized so that it's safe for all to play on. Since the construction fence came down yesterday afternoon, seeing so many kids flock to the playground leaves a good feeling with those who help make it all happen. This is amazing. This is truly uh, goosebumpy. You know, it's fun to see everybody here and to hear the children's noise play. Adults are playing with the kids. Uh, it's, uh, this is what we envisioned. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. All of the finishing touches on the entire Paul Bunyan Park will be complete by Bemidji's Dragon Boat Festival. An official grand opening will happen later this month in collaboration with the Worldwide Day of Play.